Well, I think it's funny. I was like, oh, I'll take this at my art desk and um, where I do my watercolor work. And I have this like beautiful view of like all of my inspiration cards. And then you're just looking at my um, partner's work from home space behind me. <laughs> I realized that when I turned on the camera. Um, but yeah, so I have this room that used to be actually that historic like outside of the house it used to be like a sleeper porch is what they called him and we actually have like an indoor window it's a cool space and it gets a lot of natural light which is why basically when we bought this house I was like this is my room and I like if I can't have this room I don't want this house <laughs> um because it's just it's really light filled and wonderful to sit in this is probably the most successful space because it's like dedicated and I have like a really nice drafting table we found a craigslist that's awesome and adjustable um and yeah, and I'm able to have like cabinet space and like an inspiration wall. So it's nice. And then I have a closet um, not far that kind of houses my larger things. We used to live in a one bedroom apartment. So I would use the uh, kitchen countertop slash our dining table. It was many things. Um, and that's actually why I at first started to get into watercolor because it was a lot smaller and like easier to clean up. In watercolor, the best white that you have is the white of the paper. But if you like forget to leave the white of the paper or mess it up somehow, having this white gel pen, which I never thought I would buy past the age of 13 again <laughs> and actually use them, like if you just need like the dot of the in an eye of like a dog that you're painting, it's the best. I have this little ghost guy that I really enjoy. <laughs> Um, I got this when I went to Copenhagen um, in Denmark uh, last winter. Um, it's from this studio that's like very inspired by Japanese art and stuff, but also Danish design and it's sort of like a marriage of the two. And they just create these like silly little ghosts that they sell and I don't really know where it came from or why. I just enjoy him. He's sort of like always looking at me. So I personally enjoy your landscapes, your desert landscapes um, that you've done in the past year, um, but also your European cityscapes. I distinctly remember um, an Italian night scene where you were looking up at your Airbnb and it was like warm orange, oh, blue, yeah. orange and then yeah. blue, dark blue sky. Um, so I just wanted to know more about what your travel kit might look like. I sketch a lot because it's just easy to have like a pencil and a like notebook. Um, I have this little guy, very tiny, and it has little pans in it of watercolor. It's very cute, little tiny set. It has every color that you could possibly need, really. And it even has this adorable tiny paintbrush in it. Um... <laughs> for travel and then it has this little thing that you put water in <laughs> so you can just like drip some water out from whatever you're drinking um and so i have traveled with this a couple times um but i do have like this very idealistic dream of like oh i could just be on a beach and paint but then you get there and it's like everything's sandy and like the wind's blowing <laughs> like you can't control the environment that you're like trying to paint in i think that's a little bit hard Obviously, like painting from life is always ideal. Um, I have painted like my potted plants or like fruits, and vegetables that I've gotten, you know, and I just bring them upstairs and stick them on my table. Um, but otherwise, it's a lot from pictures just because that's what's easiest. So I got these giant pieces of like Arches watercolor view, which are really expensive. And then I'm like thinking about, okay, when I finally am brave enough to paint on that big of a piece of paper, <laughs> where am I gonna put it? So I really need a really large flat file cabinet. <laughs> and every so often I like kind of check Craigslist. Cause like, there's gotta be someone who's just like, I'm done with this or like, I don't know, space wise, I would want maybe more surrounding windows. So it was like kind of full ambient light. And then I could like, Close them for directed light and sort of setups and that sort of thing. So I'd probably have like a dream studio and like a giant turret with like surrounding windows and a large flat file or a ten. Right, right. 